Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Today we are with the Dreamer family and things are different. I have a lot to explain to you. Yes, Cassandra has moved in and yes, they are in a new house. But also, I tried to record this but it ended very traumatically. They moved into the new house, they had a reception, wedding ceremony, got married, then all hell broke loose, it started pouring down rain, Lightning struck every freaking tree in this yard. Everybody was going batshit crazy. Then, surprise, Cassandra is pregnant. So, she, all of her needs started decaying really fast. I was trying to feed her. She ended up dying. Yeah, she died. Uh, I had to completely restart the game because that was not part of my plans. Cassandra cannot die. I just, I like things to play out naturally, but no, 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 no. That, that was just too much. So let me go ahead and give you a tour of the new Dreamer house. I think this house is the perfect size for them. They did compromise. Uh, she was actually wanting to purchase, where's the other house? This one right here. Um, but it was actually kind of small. It was more expensive, but it was way smaller. So they compromised and Derek Dirk really liked this house. So I think this was the better option anyways. Like I said, it's a lot more spacious for them. They decided that the house that the dreamers were living in that, you know, belonged to Derek's late wife and him that they raised Dirk in was just a little too weird and they needed their own place as a newlywed couple you know they're starting their own family so yeah i think this house is the perfect size it's very nice living room kitchen dining the little computer area and derek is not derek darren have i been calling him derek if i have forgive me oh my god darren is down here painting and then upstairs we have this is dark's room this is gonna be the new baby's bedroom and then they have a bathroom they share. And then over here, we have Darren and Cassandra's bedroom. And they have a deck leading out to the back. They have a big deck in the backyard, too. And I did have the red and wedding reception and everything set up out here. And they had a really good time until all hell broke loose. But yeah, we're about to see her cute little baby bump. Uh, also, it has been confirmed that Nina... Caliente is pregnant. She actually came to the wedding uh, and she was rocking her baby bump. So she is pregnant with Don Lothario's child. And we also know that Dina is pregnant with Mortimer's baby. So we're about to have a whole new generation, which I'm super excited about. But she has the day off from work. I think she's on maternity leave anyways. Um, but she is cooking some breakfast. He woke up super early this morning, so he probably needs to go take a nap in just a minute. We'll let him finish painting. Um, he kind of went crazy once we had the fire and everything. He See, he fears fire. You know, he did lose his wife in a fire, and I think that's why he's t just mortified by it. And so he witnessed one of these trees catch on fire and went crazy. So his aspiration, and he, he's not doing very good. He'll talk to volleyballs and everything, but we're, we're trying to we're trying to help him out. When Dirt gets home, we're going to try to have them become BFF. So hopefully just bump that up a little bit, make him feel a little bit better. But yes, that is everything that has changed in the Dreamer family. So Cassandra is now Cassandra Dreamer. And I apologize that you guys didn't get to, you know, see the ceremony and everything. Y'all probably would have been very entertained by that part. But I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have her die. I, I couldn't do it. But let's have her answer this phone and see who's calling. I think when Dirk gets home, we'll probably have Lilith come over. He... Is so excited to have a new home, and he, of course, wants to show it off to Lilith. Um, so we'll have her come over. My girl Lilith, y'all know I love Lilith. All right, so Dirk just got home from school. Let's have him invite over Lilith. Um, yeah. Oh, and since we have a very nice house. Oh, oh, okay, these two little lovebirds. He's like, Dad. PDA, seriously, Lila's about to come over, can we take it down a notch? But anyways, like I was trying to say, he can invite over the headmaster. I think that will work well since they have this brand new house. Will work in their favor. All right, so Lilith is here and he's going to just give her a nice little suck on the face. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these interactions in The Sims too. Ooh, ooh. Mmm, little foot prop. It's so cute. Wow. Okay. 
Angie Fancy. All right, so anyways, let's have her come on inside. Oh my God, these two. Dad, didn't I tell you to take it down a notch? How about y'all not? Can Yeah, you two need to, for real, take it down a notch. You need to come up here and take a nap since you woke up so early. And Lord forbid, I really need to make sure I keep Cassandra's needs in kept because <laughs> we don't want her dying on us again that's for sure so let's have her come over here and eat some pancakes after she uses the potty uh she's about due for a nap too you know i wish that you could do that i wish you could take naps on the sims too but you can't you just have to completely put them in the bed which is i mean can you take a nap on the couch okay yeah you can take a nap on the couch but you can't do it in the bed that's what i mean um, but let's ask Angela to join, Angela, oh my god, <laughs> Lilith, to join us. Can't we do that? I thought we could ask her to join. Okay, maybe she just wants to watch us. That's fine. Um, we'll get our fun up a little bit. And he does need to do his schoolwork. Because he is an A-plus student and he has about nine days until aging up. So I'm thinking that we could probably, maybe in the next part, I uh, have the headmaster come over, um, or maybe at the end of this part, I don't know, we'll see, we'll just see what happens, what goes on, because um, I do want him to get into private school. Out of all of the teenagers that we have, I think he is the one that would get into private school over the others. Um, I don't see them necessarily getting into private school, um, maybe all going to college together. That is my plan, but I really just see him as the one going to private school. Just being, ooh, Rico Suave over here, but just being a little bit ahead of the game in that sense. But let's see, what leftovers do we have? Let's get some leftovers out. Um, let's see, we can get out some spaghetti, it looks like, and see if Lilith wants to come join us call to meal guest can we call her to the meal and have her come eat with us and we'll have a little chat with her while these two okay well i guess she's gonna sleep in his room um i do have a lot of space in his room i wasn't really sure uh what to put in there because i forgot about his interest so let me check that he, oh he had a bladder failure Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> Must have been when he got struck by lightning. I'm telling y'all, all hell broke loose. Oh no, let's say Lilith has a little breakout. She's getting a little bit stressed, her home life, you know. But I wanted to see what his hobbies were, um, his skills and whatnot. So, I mean, he's mostly interested in like school and work and stuff. Um, he doesn't necessarily, like, have any other, like, skills. Uh, so, I don't know. We have to find out what we want each of them to major in when they go to college. So, if you guys want to give me any suggestions on what you think Dirk would do, like, what career field could we see Dirk? Um, I see maybe, like, politics, medicine, something like that because he is so freaking smart. Um, I can see him just being, like, in that medicine uh, career track or or possibly, you know, politics or something like that. Um, and also, Lilith. I'm, I'm not really sure with her, Angela or Dustin, but I do want them hopefully all to go to school. In the last part with the Pleasant family, if y'all don't remember, I'm going to go ahead and remind y'all real quick. Angela's grades are slipping very badly. The tables have turned, and Lilith, you know, Dirk's been such a good, positive example for Lilith. And he's been helping her with homework and encouraging her. And it really has showed, and I'm very proud of her, and he's very proud of her as well. Um, so he's going to come in here and use the restroom, and then we're going to have him be a sweet boy and clean up. Uh, I think it's about time to wake them up from their naps and have them take a bath and shower, stay on top of these needs here. We'll let her nap a little bit longer, and then... I want him, he never used the bathroom really, come down here and do his homework. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to play on through the night. And probably tomorrow I'm going to have 
the headmaster invited over for dinner so we can hopefully like schmooze schmooze i don't know how to say that you know schmooze schmooze him a little bit and get dirk into private school since he will be aging up very shortly it's now eight days so i do want him to have a little bit of time into private school i think that will definitely help him in the long run oh my gosh she's <laughs> I forgot they could do this. They can use, like, the little bears and stuff to talk through to, like, the adults and the kids. So, she's been up there decorating the nursery. So, she's going to come over here and just mess with Darren a little bit. Like, hey, are you ready to meet your daughter or your son? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. That's enough. Put it up. That's enough. Grow up. <laughs> really? And you're not even going to put it back where it belongs, honestly? I mean, pfft. Jesus. Anyways, let's have her make herself useful. We're going to have her come up here and make the bed. And I believe Dirk will be home from school around like 1 or 2. And we are going to have the headmaster over. So I want to make sure everybody <laughs> is in a good mood. We want to make sure the house is cleaned up. Oh my god, Darren. We get it. Y'all are excited. Please stop. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So really really oh my gosh i'm gonna have to delete the freaking little bunny if they're not gonna stop picking it up and playing with it like little children but anyways we're gonna make sure the house is all tidied up for the headmaster let's just come down here and go ahead and get rid of that last little pancake there we'll just make new breakfast in the morning no big deal and then once um dirt gets home we will invite the headmaster over and fingers crossed everything goes well i really want our boy to get into private school all right, so Dirk is home from school, and he has invited over the headmaster, and he said, good, I'll be over for dinner at 5 p.m. So I think I'm pretty positive that, yes. Okay, so Cassandra is the one that we are betting on to make us a good dinner. So we have to have her take a quick nap real quick, get her energy up so she's not freaking falling asleep on us and embarrassing us when we're trying to, you know, you know, suck up to the headmaster let's have him come in here and go ahead and work on his homework that might look good if he has his homework done we probably shouldn't have any like homework laying around i'm pretty sure all you have to do is just like talk him up and feed him dinner and just kind of entertain him he has good grades they're interested and i think that cassandra being a goth and just the fact that she knows the headmaster and she went to a private school and so did or uh, so does Alexander. I think that will be really, really good for Dirk and help him, you know, have a little bit of an advantage. Oh my gosh, okay, so the headmaster has arrived. I'm so nervous. Okay, whew, good luck. Okay, get off the computer, get off the computer. Um, can we come out here and greet Vince Walker? We are to give him like a tour of the house and we have Cassandra in there making some spaghetti. Hopefully he likes spaghetti. Uh, she won't screw it up too bad. Maybe you should be, um, you know. Okay, so we have food points, tour points, and schmooze, schmooze points. Okay, so we need a total of 90. Um, well, that's the highest you can get. So maybe we should go ahead and um, talk, entertain, give tour. Let's give him a tour of the house, um, you know since he's just now walking in so let's just show him our new house and he's just letting him know yeah um, i'm very excited uh oh okay showroom he said no it was like he said no but <laughs> i'm so confused um maybe does he follow us wherever we go show him this room okay i think this is what we do okay cool okay looks like it's going well so let's go in here show him our little study area okay and show him this room okay i think he likes it um maybe we should come up here and show him our bedroom um, I think that would be the last place. I don't know if we would, like, have to show him the nursery and stuff. But let's just go ahead and show him our room. Maybe it would look better if we had a desk in here. So, it's like, okay, this is where I'm going to do my studies and whatnot. 
Um, okay, so that was good enough. He said, thanks for the tour. It was great to see the house. Um, so we can entertain him. We can call him for dinner now. So let's go ahead and do that since the food is ready and we're all a little famished. Oh my God, she's probably about to pass out or pee on herself. She's definitely about to embarrass us, Cassandra. Oh, okay, just eat and hopefully I can get her to the toilet before she freaking has a bladder failure. And we have Darren acting like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Apparently this is in the way, so let's just put this over here because I don't want to make him mad, you know. So, okay, really? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This dining room is not big enough. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. He's going to be so mad. Okay, we still have to feed him and schmooze him. And so far, not good. Okay, well, I guess you can stand there and eat. That's fine. Please don't hold it against us. It didn't say um, dining point. It just said food point. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he likes it. Okay, Cassandra, yes, run to the toilet, girl. Run, 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 run. And then go ahead and go to bed. Um, and then we'll take care of you later. Um, I guess he can't schmooze him. I guess it's all up to dirt, which is, well, or maybe it's because he's eating. I'm not really sure. Okay, so we got 39 points for the food. So let's um, hurry up and eat before it gets too late. And let's talk to him about school. How we have an A+. Plus. I think this is going really, really good. I'm excited. Oh, we got 79 out of 90 so far. I think that's really good. Okay. Can, yeah, let's have, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Are you really, ah, I want him to come down here and show that he is excited for his son to go to school and he's going to do it in his pajamas. And I would ra actually rather prefer Cassandra do it. Um, we're just going to pretend that Cassandra was, you know, talking him up a little bit down here while they were having dinner. But, of course, you know, Darren's going to come down here in his pajamas. So, hopefully, um, <laughs> that doesn't bother him too bad. Maybe it won't look unprofessional. Uh, let's go ahead and put away these leftovers. Okay, so he did not like Darren coming up here and talking to him. So, Darren, just, just let's just not. Come up here and take a shower and get ready to go to bed. And we're just going to have Dirk just, just handle it himself. So, let's just continue to schmooze him. We're not getting anything for schmooze points. And I don't know why, because we've been schmoozing him ever since he got here. But, I mean, we do have a 79 out of 90, which, I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me. I mean, what do I need to do? Influence to bathe? Let's, let's maybe not tell him he needs to bathe. Uh, maybe just, like, chat with him a little bit. Okay, I think he's getting a little tired of us, you know, talking about ourselves and sucking up. But, I mean, that's the point. Oh, no, I'm scared. This is not going good. Um, I mean, I don't know. Is 79 points good? Oh, no, it's not going good. Just walk away. Take a breather. Let's just let him. Maybe he's just a little aggravated. Oh, no. Oh my god, and of course Cassandra's going to go into freaking labor in the middle of our <laughs> dinner with the freaking headmaster. Okay. Alright. All is, all is well. Watching birth. Um, oh jeez. Can we not? Okay, so we have a new family member on the way. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, I wanted a girl. Okay. Um, let me think of a boy name. All right. So I think we're going to name him Damon. Just to keep with the D theme. We have Darren, Dirk, and Damon. Um, oh, he's so cute. Okay. Well, at least he's happy for the baby. <laughs> Does this count? We get points for this? All right. So can we do this real quick? Can we... Uh, Make sure every we probably don't need this dollhouse anymore. Uh, probably don't need all this girly furniture either. Crap. Don't mind me, headmaster. Just got to get situated for the baby. 
Um, let's put this little bear down instead. He might like that little bear. We'll give him that there. Um, maybe not this crib either. I mean, I don't know. I like the crib, actually. Um, oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, so I think we have everything situated. Um, I think we can maybe come put him in his crib real quick, like, um, and kind of just focus on the freaking headmaster, try to keep schmoozing him. Nothing's really working out for us. Um, we have five seconds left, and we have no schmooze points. I don't know why. Maybe if we can get Cassandra to come over here. Oh, no, it's too late. Oh, no. Oh, no. The headmaster does not think that this is the kind of family that should be associated with such a fine institution. <gasps> oh no, his fear was to get rejected from private school. Oh, I bet he feels so awful and probably feels like he's disappointed Cassandra considering she was so close to the headmaster. Oh no, 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 I'm so sad. Maybe we can just give him a family kiss and just tell him, you know, it's okay, it's okay. You still have great grades. You're going to do fine in school. You don't necessarily need to be in a private school. It's okay. They're just very exclusive. Just don't take it personally, hon. So let's just have him go to sleep. Oh, my heart. I really thought we had it, but he was just not impressed by our schmoozing. And I, I don't know what else he, he would have wanted, but look at Darren down here. Being a good daddy to Damon, it's been a minute since he's uh, taken care of a youngster since Dirk is a little bit older. But let's go ahead and put him in the crib, and then I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this part up. So I think we had a successful part here with the Dreamer family. We had a wedding that was off camera. They got a new house, enjoying their newlywed life, and now they have a new addition to the baby. I was not expecting him to be born in this part, but we have Damon. And unfortunately for Dirk, he did not get into private at school we could try again later but I think you know what they don't deserve Dirk they really don't so we're just meh to hell with them right all right guys if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave all your comments and suggestions everything in the co comment section down below subscribe if you have not and I will talk to y'all later let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted somehow Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes